let's get into Metal Gear Solid 3, shall we? Or back into, because of course we were playing a little bit last week. Where did we let off? I don't know. I can't remember. Not even a little bit, because my memory is fucked. Also, uh, it's circle button, not X, <laughs> for select. I need to constantly remind myself of this because I am going to constantly forget it, apparently. Good, good, good. All right. Let's get in here. We are playing normal mode. I guess it's this one, the one with more playtime. That makes sense. Also, hello, YouTube. Uh, how are you guys doing today? Load is successful. Let's get into it, man. I am going to end up being so lost. <laughs> this is farther than we've ever played before. I know Chocobo said he's not going to be able to be here for most of the stream, if any of it, today because of his job. Uh, so we are flying blind. He gave us a some a, a small tip last time at the end of last stream. I remember that being a thing. I do not, however, remember at all what the tip was. So it <laughs> doesn't really help, I guess. Um... Okay, we have anti-personnel sensor, active sonar, motion detectors, binoculars, cigar, revival pill, our fake death pill, which is not out. Oh, we have stun grenades? Dude, equip that. Survival knife? Equip that, too. I'm, I mean, might as well equip the directional mic. Or wait, are we... We were unequipping, weren't we? Yeah, no, I actually want that stuff equipped. My bad. Um... The snakes and stuff, I don't think we actually need those equipped. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that looks better. So we already had it properly set up. I don't think we're injured or anything like that, so I don't think we need to really worry about any of that. Do we need to worry about people, though? And what were we even trying to do? What if we call Major Zero? Do you have anything for us? Maybe a reminder of what the hell we're doing? Major. Snake, the boss is your enemy. You've got to accept that reality. <sighs> Adam is waiting for you at the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. Head north. Okay, I vaguely remember we came here to fight boss because she defected to Russia or something along those lines. And uh, now Russia wants to murder us as in the U.S., because they think we launched the nuke or whatever that blew up their science facility, but in reality, it was Boss along with the people she defected with, something along those lines. <laughs> I vaguely remember. Also, I have fun facts about Metal Gear Solid 3. Oh, man, that monitor's really bright, but as provided by AI, so... They may or may not be true. I have no idea. The first one is Metal Gear Solid 3 was originally going to be called Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater 3D. Fun fact. It's could be true. <laughs> I, I don't actually know if it is or not, but it could be true. Okay, I recognize this area. We've come through here before. So where are we actually trying to get to here? It's a lot harder to do when you can't see anything. Uh, there's a not so nice bro. Oh god, there's a, ah, another not so nice bro, and he's coming this way. Oh god, don't don't come this way. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, I think if we go straight across here. Okay, there's 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 a bad bro. Can we get around you? So if we walk through him, he's probably going to smack us with his tail. If we walk in front of him, though, he's definitely going to bite us. There we go. We can just... Hey. No problem, dude. So I'm assuming we're just going back to where we started the game at? That's definitely the, the general direction that we're heading in. I don't know if that's correct or not, but... We're going that way regardless, man. Feels really weird running, like, towards the camera the way we are. I don't know if it's just because I spent the whole beginning of the game running the other way, or... 
if it's just because of like the more limited visibility. But it feels weird. But yeah, this is this is the starting zone, I think. Whenever we first played. How do we go down again? There we go. X. I hear goat. Uh, mushrooms? Can we just, like, punch the mushrooms? No. I guess we have to have stuff. A knife or something in our hand to collect it. Nice. Give me shrooms, please. Now, do we kill the goat? What is the purpose of the goat? What are we... What are we doing? <laughs> what are you? You look almost collectible. You are. Is that... Oh, a disinfectant. Nice. Okay, that's cool. I don't remember this before. Was this area always uh, accessible to us and I just missed it before? I guess so. Not that it really matters. There was nothing up there for us to do. Maybe Easter egg in the tree? Like how we found our backpack here the first time around? Mm, no. Doesn't appear to be. Okay. Uh... This more disinfectant, and this looks a little bit different, like a different kind of herb or something. Damn you. Stay down. Stay down, snake. I wish there was just, like, I don't know, a way to collect things on the ground without crawling, because the crawling can be a little bit awkward sometimes. It's like when you get too close to stuff, Snake seems to just want to kind of sit up a little bit, which, I mean, makes sense. You know, you can only crawl so close to something before it stops working. Do we have to kill the snake? Him, or the snake, the, the goat. Oh, there's a bunny. <laughs> the bunny is gone. We got serum and rabbit meat. What is... I'm assuming the serum is some kind of health thing. I have no idea what, though. Can't we go over this log or something? Yeah. Hi, Mr. Snake. We're gonna ignore you for now. And you. There's something here, though. What was that? Chaff grenade. Hmm. Potentially helpful? Bruh, I'm definitely missing something. Wait, what are you? Regular grenades? Stun grenades? There's all kind. How did I run right past those last time? I must have went through, like, the brush here or something. Is there anything else over here that I might have missed? Doesn't look like it, other than some mushrooms on the ground. But we don't need all of the mushrooms. Looking for, like, trees we can climb, maybe, or something. Yeah, I'm wondering if just coming this direction was, was the wrong move. Maybe it was just, like, I don't know, some supplies or something. But it looked like we were heading this way whenever we loaded into the game. I'm struggling to remember what exactly we were doing at the end of last week, but... I thought we were heading south. Although it did say whenever we call the colonel, didn't he? I guess he did say something about the facility to the north, huh? Pretty sure it was north, he said. Let's just check that real quick. Which which direction we go in, Mr. Colonel, sir? Or Major? Major Zero? As soon as it loads. It's having trouble loading. I probably should have cleaned my laser before we started Snake, today. Be but... careful of that swamp. What's dangerous about it? 
It's a bottomless swamp. A bottomless swamp? Yes. We found that out the hard way already. highly viscous. It will stick to your body like tar. It will be impossible for you to swim. If you get swallowed by the bottomless swamp, you won't be able to escape on your own. Once you sink down to about head level, you'll be trapped for good. Make sure you get out before that happens. So, I have to make sure I don't sink too far. Got it. Snake, wait. There's more? Yes. What? Crocodiles. Crocodiles? Yes. Crocodiles. Like the reptile. That's correct. More accurately, they're Indian gay. I love how we're acting we're so surprised about this the stuff he's telling us, but like paramedic about that one. Paramedic? Yes. We've been here before and seen them already. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. Nice. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... How do they... Taste? Yes, I did look into that. You know what they always say. Tastes like chicken. Sounds delicious. I don't remember if it was alligator or but crocodile, but I have eaten one before. Gavial. It was fun. Normally they're cowardly creatures. <laughs> like, it was a little but overcooked. I don't know if that's normal original. for... Apparently they attack humans. Crocodile or alligator, but uh they weren't the direct yeah, subject it was a little of tough. But other than that, it tasted fine. But some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Alright, so that didn't tell me anything that I damn it, I didn't no. Go away. That didn't that didn't tell me anything that I was wanting to know. Uh but I guess that's fine. Can get around you? I think you can. Yeah, we Gucci. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. I didn't see you there. You blend in too much. Alright, uh, try to get behind this one. Good, good. Now, Chocobo did tell us that there was nothing over here but another crocodile, but that was before. Maybe things have changed? No. Doesn't look like anything has changed. Okay, so. Back the way we came. And hope for the best. I I don't know what we're doing, man. I'm half expecting there to just be a random crocodile here somewhere biting at us in the tall grass. Okay. Probably put the knife away. Are there people around here? There were before. But I don't know if they're still going to be. Uh, we do have that. Vibrates when detecting life forms. No, probably the motion sensor. It is detecting motion, it looks like, over here. Is that a person? Directly behind this tree, basically. Why are we crawling backwards? <laughs> Dude, there's... <laughs> I don't know what that was all about. I was tr trying to crawl forward, but for some reason, Snake was having none of that. Okay, you know what? Just stand up. Just, no, just stand up. If we get caught, we get caught. Is there anybody here? I don't even know where we're going anymore. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, no. Now I definitely see a person. At least one. Are there more? Okay, there's some sort of creature in the grass. Uh oh, we don't have a knife or a, a gun. Okay. 
I guess it's going to have to be all stealth. I mean, we do have the stun grenades. If it gets down to it. There's always the, uh... The option of trying to kill people, like, sneak up behind them, do a stealth kill as well. There's always that. What is in the grass, man? Sounds like a freaking bear or something. Good thing is I don't see anyone else on the, the motion detector there. So I think it's just the dude in front of us. I'm going to try to stealth kill him. But I'm not 100% sure how that works. Oh, God damn it. How do we, how do we hit? Okay. Just keep hitting. Just keep hitting. Oh, God. We're in alert. <laughs> what? Okay. Uh. No enemies here. <laughs> you saw nobody. <laughs> God damn it, dude. <laughs> As soon as we got up, he saw us. That went that went great. About as well as we could have hoped, really. Uh, didn't even get a gun or anything. Uh, somebody coming this way? Somebody's definitely coming this way. He sees us. He's got a gun. Okay, you know what? Stun grenade. Ow. Did it throw? I don't think it threw. Oh, God. You're stunned. Get wrecked. I just want your gun. Just just get knocked out so I can steal your gun, please. Are you knocked out? You're knocked out. Knife. Down. Stab repeatedly. There we go. I think, I think, th I think he's dead, Snake. Are you going to drop a gun for me by any chance? No, ration. Was that... That might have been my own stomach rallying like that the entire time. <laughs> the the bear-like sound? I think Snake's just hungry, actually. Um, Let's try eating a reticulated python. I <laughs> know there was going to be a whole graphic here. Nice. Mm -mm -mm, yummy. <laughs> How much of this is there, man? <laughs> I mean, I guess the game is called Snake Eater. They had to, <laughs> they had to really sell it there. He said this is rotten. And then said fairly tasty. So. And it did refill our food. Are we like. Are we sick or something though? I guess our health is a bit low. Although it seems to be going up. I don't know man. Whatever. Maybe it just doesn't fill us for as long. Like doesn't have as much satiation. Satiation. This yeah, whatever. Patrol here. Lost sight of these. Going into high alert. Okay, since we're in caution, if we leave and come back in caution, will that get rid of the uh the status, or do we just have to wait the full minute and a half? Seems like we just gotta wait the whole minute and a half, sadly. Lay down so we're not super visible. In fact, it might have even restarted whenever we came into a new area. Doesn't look like anyone's coming this way. I'm going to turn off the motion detector for a little bit because otherwise it's going to end up dying and we won't have it. And that won't do us any good. 
kind of trying to watch to the south here, make sure nobody's sneaking up on us. So how, how do the stealth kills actually work, I wonder? It's got to be possible to do, one way or another. Well, while we're waiting, though, it's the perfect opportunity, right? To read another AI Metal Gear Solid 3 game fact on this super bright-ass screen. Do I have low light compensation on again? No, I don't know, whatever. Uh, AI game fact number two. <laughs> the game's development was led by Hideo Kojima, who also directed the previous Metal Gear Solid games. That one's pretty obvious. Metal Gear Solid 3 was released on the PlayStation 2 in 2004, apparently. Uh, the game is set in the 1960s during the Cold War. There you go. Oh god, we are very hungry. Maybe that's the, yeah, the only effect from eating the quote-unquote rotten food. We just get hungry quicker. And I'm assuming the screwed up picture on these means that they're all rotten. Um, how does European rabbit taste? Pretty tasty. Good stamina recovery, okay. Russian oyster mushrooms? Not good. Okay. <laughs> Same with these mushrooms, but I'm going to eat it anyways, because... This is horrible. And a cat. Well, I'm assuming Calorie Mate probably does, like, a full thing. What about the Russian ration? I'm gonna puke. Decent. Okay. Apparently, we didn't like that very much either, though, the Russian rations. <laughs> oh, well. Are we... So I can't help but notice that the red thing's still there and we're still losing a lot of stamina. Do we need to go into the cure menu or something? Oh, we do have a gunshot wound and a stomach ache. Cure 7%, cure 38%. We could probably just use medicine for this, right? Between stomach aches. Hey, okay. And then... Uh, colds, food poisoning, venom poisoning, stomach ache, surgery maybe? So for gunshots, it was what? We wanted to use like a disinfectant or something? Cuts and gunshot wounds, yeah. So there's that. And then burn treatment, leeches, bullets and arrows. Is there... I mean, it helped. Uh, burns, cuts, gunshot wound. Okay. Bandage. And then this. Hey, look at us go, dude. Okay, so now presumably we'll gain that health back and... Yeah, our hunger's not going to go down super quick anymore. Nice. That really, like, pu pushes home the the idea that we really should try not to get shot because <laughs> if we do we're gonna have to use up all of our our medical supplies to actually get back health like you regain the the bar slowly as time goes on just by like relaxing or whatever but i'm assuming that red section will never go away i mean maybe the wounds will eventually heal on their own it just takes a long time maybe All right, come on. Three, two, one. And there we go. In the clear. Try again without any guns. How are we going to do this? Well, that dead body's still there. Kind of thought the dead body would go away. Um, but I guess it persists. Is there anyone else around here? Possibly. There's like a small dot, but it's like right in front of us. Like right, I'm right on top of it. I see that dude all the way over there. No, 
Yeah, okay. I think I think it's just the dude over by the bridge. Um Let's get out of sight a little bit. And then what are the chances that you'll drop anything more useful like, I don't know, a gun? Preferably, honestly, a stun gun, but anything silenced would be amazing. No luck, huh? Um, okay, one more thing. Black face paint would be nice with how dark it is. Ow. And that's pretty much it. That'll help, though. That's actually, that helps a fair bit. Crouching, we're now at 70%. That's pretty decent, dude. Still at 80 when we're crawling around, but what are you going to do? Okay, so if that dude's all the way over there now. Keep an eye on him, see if he turns around at any point. So the only thing I can think is maybe we can, like... When he comes back to get off the bridge, we can, like, try to run past him. Or, oh, what we could do is try to shake him off the bridge, too. Ah, oh, but he's too far over there now. I wonder, how visible are we on the bridge itself? I'm assuming fairly. Actually, 60's not that bad. <laughs> do we have any camouflage that makes this even less visible? That's a backpack. That's the, how you exit the menu. This is going well. Camouflage. Uniform. Leaf. Ooh, olive. Okay, 75? You know what? I think we can just try to take him out. Where's he at? Okay, he's right there. I mean, what are the chances that he just walks right past us? That's basically zero, right? Oh, God, there's another guy over there. <laughs> I didn't see there was another guy over there. Uh... Um... Okay, somehow he still doesn't see us, though. I mean, we're only 75% hidden. He's gonna see us at some point. The other dude's turned around. The bridge be shaken. And of course, you would walk on the right side of the bridge. Uh, up, up, up. Please, up. How do we get up? Okay, there we go. No, don't call HQ, son of a bitch. Up. How do we, how do we get up? Punch. Punch. There we go. You know what? Honestly, we're fine. You can't even see me. I'm in, okay, he saw us. <laughs> he might have shot us. I'm assuming... Oh, shit. Throw the grenade. Get down. Get up. And... Just run. Just run, dude. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Hugo Player, welcome, man. Hello, hello. All right, we're in alert. Oh, they're coming up behind us, aren't they? Oh, damn, do that. Uh, okay, this is the first time. Hey, thanks for the follow, man. It's the first time I've had them actually follow me in between sections before. That makes things significantly scarier. What if we just lay down right here? Will you run right past us without seeing us? Is somebody there? No, nobody's, damn it. That did not work. <laughs> okay. I know where to go. If we just run right up here, we should be able to, assuming it's the same as before, 
we can just hop right down under here. And there's a section right here. There's no way for them to see us or attack us unless they decide to crawl down here themselves. First time playing? Yeah, I mean, not literally my first time, but it's my first time playing this section of the game, yeah. It's my third time ever playing any of the game, but the first time I played it, I only played up to, uh, well, the first time that you come through this section, and then you meet, like, Ocelot and all that. And then my second time, I played up until, well, about this point. HQ? HQ. This is HQ. Okay, they lost us. That's good. I do remember when we were here before, there was that gate on the other side of this building. Maybe that's where we're trying to get to. That would make sense. Okay. I think we're fine if we start moving. I don't think we're going to have to stand here for the whole cautionary period. And there should be... Yeah, I was going to say, there should be some way out of here. No, this is just the regular Snake Eater version. I don't own the other version, sadly. If I did, I would gladly play that one instead, but don't have it. I'm going to turn off the motion detector for a bit. We see more or less in the clear right now. Face slash zombie. I'm assuming that's some kind of camouflage. Oh, it's that. Okay. Just go back to black, though. With it being night, I don't think there's going to be much that's more, uh, more efficient. Regular version is not too good because the camera's fixed. I mean, I didn't mind it much in, like, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, but there are definitely times where it would be nice to have free reign with the camera. see anyone on the motion detector can we get through this gate can't help but notice it still looks very closed hmm i think somebody might have saw us somebody there nobody's here Back under the building quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. Good. We clear. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't own the substance version, so it's not really an option for me. Just let the caution run out real quick. Oh, really? Because I haven't minded it too much so far, the fixed camera. There are definitely times when having a wider field of vision would be nice, but if anything, it adds to the suspense and makes things like the motion detector more important, I feel like, but I also haven't had the chance to play the substance version, so. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think I would prefer the substance version if I had it, but I don't. Okay, there's... Something over here. I don't know if it'll be useful or not, but might as well go pick it up real quick. It is smoke grenade. Okay. Not necessarily what I was hoping for. Something along the lines of, like, a gun would be very handy. Do we have better camouflage uniform? Maybe just black. Honestly? I feel like that might just have the best overall right now with as dark as it is. Oh, on the highest difficulty, you don't have any motion radar? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I'm just playing on normal. I uh, When I play games personally, I tend to play on higher difficulties. 
but for stream man and i'm not particularly good at metal gear games either so <laughs> i tend to play on the uh on the normal difficulties here all right major zero you got any insight for us man the game load for a second there we go You've arrived at the factory i see mm -hmm. yeah now to meet up with this adam guy good go to it so where is he we weren't given an exact location how about a time nothing was specified a physical description <laughs> i'm not sure how am i supposed to find him then nice won't okay huh? he'll find you uh... why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met sokolov Adam might be in there. That's exactly what I was thinking, but I uh, didn't realize this is exactly where we were trying to get to, so yeah. All right, uh, then in that case, we're all back in here, back out the top, maybe kill this rat for some delicious, delicious meat. Nice. I wonder... I don't think we've actually eaten rat yet. I wonder how Snake feels about it. Rat. Eat. Oh, actually, decent stamina recovery. Not bad, man. It's pretty tasty, apparently. I've eaten a lot of stuff before. Can't say I've ever tried rat, though. If times were tough, I mean, I think I'd do it. <laughs> I'm sure there's worse things out there. God, we're pretty visible right now. Can we get down? Thank you. And then hopefully, like last time, I think that was the bird. Yeah, I think that's the bird flying away. Okay. It looks empty down here, but before we go there, there's definitely something right there. Damn it, snake. Get up. C box A. Oh, is that just a box? Nice. Uh, okay. We're in the room where we found Sokolov. Lockers? Thermal goggles, nice. Can we not open the other one? Nope. Can we take a nap on the bed? Prepare for cutscene. It's a nice scene. I must be missing something. I mean, the game did give us a point of giving us the, uh... Where's the... I must not have it equipped. The thermal. Binoculars. Backpack. Thermal goggles. Equip. Thermal goggles. Nope, that does nothing for us either. Okay. There we go. Sorry, I'm late. Cut the engine. They'll hear us. Are you the agent they sent? 
Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me. I'm it kind of hard to trust you right now. Thank you for saving us. But what was up with not saying the password, my guy? There is your answer. <laughs> I mean, again, thank you, but did Adam die or something and not get to tell her the password? I'm confused. Guess there's only one way to find out, though. Interesting way to introduce yourself. The name's Eva. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Snake, my guy, come on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just directly, not even trying to hide it, man. Just right at her chest. What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? What happened to Adam? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a code breaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Yeah, everyone's just defecting, huh? The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? Incredible. Do you like it? He's really into that gun. To a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non-slip grooves. Oh yeah, he didn't even care about the cigar once the gun came out, man. <laughs> and not only that. Nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Where'd you get something like this? I grabbed it from a Western munitions armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. You had this with you, didn't you? Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then? Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohai. Where? At the lab. 
They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Can we get Sokolov out of there? Something about Snake as a scientist just doesn't... Tell my brain can't compute, lab. man. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close-range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. Right, let's get going. Smart, yeah. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. You'll never make it in your condition. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. They'll start to suspect something. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. Something about sleeping here, That's just it. maybe under the building, but like My here, I don't know. With <laughs> like with enemies around and shit, uh, I don't need to sleep. I just need a forty-five, right? <laughs> All right then, I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. Got some commitment issues after boss there, man. Gonna get that? She's right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. Ah, when you're okay. tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Now, we could probably cheat that by just, like, saving and then moving our system clock forward, I imagine. But where am I from? Uh, U.S., eastern side of the U.S. Not, like, on the coast, but. Save over that one, please. I hope there's no point where, like, we have to quit for an extended period of time. That would be, well, no, like I said, we could probably cheat by just switching the, uh, whatchamacallit forward system clock forward be a little weird though if uh that doesn't work it's like all right guys well i guess we just got to take a break for an hour because <laughs> that's the sort of thing though that i wouldn't pa put past today with kojima like 100 percent. in fact i'm pretty sure he's tried to do something similar to that before from the soviet union basically the other side of the world <laughs> So one of the been one of the coolest things from uh when I've started streaming more regularly is just seeing people like or meeting people from like all over the place, man. Whether it's, you know, Germany, France, uh Brazil, Canada. I'm trying to think. I'm sure we've had 
people from other parts of the world hop in as well, but I just can't think of off the top of my head. Hello. <laughs> Interesting way to wake up in the morning. What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. Nothing surprises me in Kojima awesome games, to. man. Let's Nothing at all. <laughs> like that's honestly just expected at this point. <laughs> Here, give me a hand. Oh, we're using the trap door. I was wondering if that was ever going to come to play. I saw it underneath the building before, but never make use of it. We can use this to get to the basement. Hey, look who it is. I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. Huh? Aw. Don't go dying on me now. I did half expect R1 to pop up again to watch her crawl away. All right, uh, let's see. Backpack. Weapon. We'll put both of those. The grenade. Honestly, like, we probably don't need the directional mic. But everything else would be nice to have. And then... I don't think we have any items, right? Well, cardboard box might as well equip that. You never know when a cardboard box will come in handy. And the camouflage, the black's probably not going to be all that great now. Um, scientist minus 30. I just want to see <laughs> Definitely a scientist. Honestly, looks better on him than I thought it would. Not going to lie. Wait, how do we get... Okay, there it goes. But no, we want... Uh, I don't know. Maybe squares? Everything's kind of brown around here. Uh, okay. There's an enemy counter. Do we need to take them out? Damn. <laughs> Are you going to check in here? You're going to shoot in here, aren't you? That's a little scary. He's not here? What? Not here? Did we lose him? You lost him. Move. Leave the room. Go ahead. Head on out. Nobody here. Quietly, please. Uh, not the thermal goggles. I would like motion detector, please. Need to knock out everybody? I was worried about that. It does, it was seeming that way. I'm trying to see though, can we get like, 
Nope. Okay. <laughs> I guess there was someone in the window. Hi. I can't aim worth a shit. How are you not dead? Okay. Just head back in here. Come, come get me in here. Come on. You know you want to come around this corner. Damn you, I thought you were going to keep running. <laughs> okay. There's, there's one. Oh my god. This guy's got some health, dude. Uh, what? Oh god, I got knocked down. Just, just shoot. Just shoot. <laughs> I can't see. Hold on. Grenades? <laughs> oh my god. This is, this is going well. Somehow we're not dead, though. Surprising, but... Uh, gun. Not the trank. Regular gun. Spread out. Okay, you're down, you're down. Holy shit, that hurt. Come back around, my guy. You're not going to, are you? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as I give up on you coming around the corner. I was trying to hit him. There we go. Are you knocked out yet? Yes. And sorry about this, but uh, okay. What? Dude, how are you not dead? Die. Honestly, that's fine. I'm okay with them being able to hear us. Hey, Mr. Noodle. Come on, come investigate. What is this? Ooh, a mine detector. That could be handy, actually. Uh, we probably don't need, like, sonar right now, just as an example. Active sonar, binocular, cigar, but I do want mine detector. So they could have mines around here. I don't know if they do, but I could see that being a thing. I see him. It wasn't... Ow. Uh, okay. I wasn't thinking about the window. I think <laughs> we're going to need eat some food I've had enough. and cure. Um, We have a burn, uh, just a couple burns. That's not actually that bad. I don't think at least. What all do we need? I'm assuming... Is it this? No, the... No, no, no. Cuts and guns. Ointment. There it is. And then what's the other thing? Maybe bandage? Okay. Oh. Ointment. 
bandage. Need to go somewhere to heal a little bit where they're not going to fill me full of lead <laughs> while we get a little bit of health back. Because otherwise, we're dead. And they're constantly seeking us out. The evasion counter will not tick down, I assume, until all of them are gone. There's somebody on the roof. Hi there. Um, okay. We still have the silencer on that. Maybe we can get a, a headshot on him. Can I lean over? I can. Oh, you bastard. You moved at precisely the wrong time. Come back up to the edge. Here's somebody walking. I don't know if it's the guy up top, though, or somebody down here. Gotta, like, keep checking the door. Oh, God damn it. He sees me. Oh, God. The run snake. Run. Okay, well, we got a, a trank in him, so he's down. Where's the rest of these guys at, though? There's three more of them around here somewhere. One of them sees us. Where was he? Okay, what's what is this? Is this helpful? Uh, bullets. I mean, it's not unhelpful. Can we open any of these? No, it doesn't seem like it. They okay, lean against the wall. That's not... You're not hiding, Snake. <laughs> Where was that guy? Must have been, like, over there. Maybe the motion detector again would be helpful. Okay, yeah, there's one in front of us. Kind of over that direction. There he is. Hello, you. Is there any better camouflage, actually? Surprisingly, no. Okay. 
need you to just like turn around for a moment. You're still vaguely looking this way though, aren't you? Damn you. Okay, I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another little dot. So I'm assuming there's another one up here. Oh, there's one. Oh, he saw me. Come around the corner for me. Oh, damn you. Okay, well. <laughs> Didn't go smoothly, really, but we got him. Do you guys drop anything fun? Some supplies. Nice. Okay. Was that SP? I don't know what SP M1911A1 is. And that bug juice. I'm still a little confused about what bug juice is. And other guy. I'm assuming is over here somewhere. Noodle, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Weird. Nobody's showing up on the motion detector. Oh. Oh, shit. There he is. We found him. <laughs> oh, I think he sees me. I can't really see you, though. Okay, he's down. <laughs> This is going well. Everything's fine. C med. All right, might as well check all the bodies now. Make sure we didn't miss anything decent. Uh, I think, yeah, we checked you. Wasn't there one over here somewhere? Or did their bodies disappear already? Maybe. Yeah, they probably despawned by now. Ah, uh, this one didn't. Sutra kit. And... SP Mark II. I still don't know what the SP means. Regular bullets. Is that like maybe a silencer or something? Is it in our backpack? Mark II. Triangle, hmm, doesn't seem to do anything. Just a, just a magazine? Hmm. When we're on this menu, can we, like, put on off suppressor? There we go. Okay, yeah. So SP must mean suppressor. That makes sense. All right, now is that gate to the north open. I hear some creaking, so I'm assuming that's the, the gate doors, like, flapping in the wind. Well, showdown with Ocelot, maybe? Waiting for this moment. You did a good job escaping, lady. 
That's it. That's the stance. I don't think so. What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun, I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. And you're forgetting Snake one pulls no punches, man. Thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. <laughs> Poor Ocelot, dude. I'm from being such a badass in 1 and 2 to... Well, I guess he's still a badass, but like... <laughs> kind of turned him into a joke. yet don't why he's still young you'll regret stopping me i mean not necessarily us but you know future snakes will There we go. Now the gate's open. All right. Uh, seems like a good time to throw down a save <laughs> before before something happens and we have to redo all that. Plus, we can get some more interesting movie See facts. Again, Snake? Not to mention some uh, AI-generated Metal Gear Solid 3 fun facts. We got... <laughs> the game was praised for its graphics, gameplay, and story. That's not that interesting. Come on. Considered one of the best games of all time. Player controls Naked Snake, a young soldier who was on a mission to stop the Soviet Union from developing a new Metal Gear weapon. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if I'd really call those fun facts. It's just kind of like... Well-known facts. I'm waiting for the AI just to completely screw up and give some off the hinge facts like soundtrack remade for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Okay. That could be true. I don't know. It was also released for the Vita in 2012. Maybe. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I have no reason to doubt it, though. Save successful. What movie are you going to talk about here? Do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? I do not. Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was the scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects in It Came From Outer Space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be Oops. referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! 
Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Snake. <laughs> My God, God. <laughs> God. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I don't think there's very many of those running around. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. Alrighty, then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. While we're here, are there any boxes? Maybe a shotgun like last time just hidden here somewhere? No? I wonder if we hadn't picked up the shotgun the first time we came through here, if it would still be here now. Be an interesting little, uh, I don't know, Easter egg? I'm assuming probably not, because, you know, soldiers would have, like, come through here by then and all that stuff. But, like, still, would be cool. Neat way for, like, the earlier game to affect the later game. Okay. Uh, looks like it's a good time for a camouflage change. If we press the right button, circle, please. Thank you. Woodland, yes. And uniform, I'm assuming tiger stripe? No, leaf. There we go. I wonder if anybody has ever, like, played the whole game on hard mode in the scientist outfit after unlocking it. That sounds like an interesting challenge. Is that a hole? Damn it. Why are the controls so bad when you're crawling sometimes? That is not a hole. Okay. Uh, people? Maybe? I'm thinking alligators or crocodiles, whatever they were. Are we about to go for a swim? I mean, I guess that makes the whole worrying about things attacking you in the water very topical. I will take the snake food, please. Thank you. Yeah, I don't see anywhere else to go. So... Water it is. Can snakes swim? That is the question. He can. Good. I don't even know for sure where we're trying to go. Right or left? Maybe left. Just because I have a vague memory of when they showed the Metal Gear precursor, the the Shago Sh 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 I don't remember what the hell it was called. Anyways, it was to the north and uh, west. So oh god. Okay, there's a hi. I'm trying to get away from you. I'm. I, I don't want to mess with you. <laughs> Can we climb up here? That tree looks climbable. It's definitely got vines growing on it. Can we not go up? Triangle, square, circle. No? Hmm. Ooh, there's a rope. Bullets and a stun grenade. There's definitely more stuff up there. Can we climb this tree? I don't see any vines on it, so I'm assuming no. 
There we go. Getting a call. Hello. Is it Major Tom? Snake, are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People yeah, and philosophical are almost, my guess. by their environment and by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Right, well. Thanks, lady. Uh... Appreciate you. Not sure how helpful any of that really is, but it's good to know we got a another lady to speak to. We need to. There's traps laid about, by the way. Be careful. I might not have told you this yet, but that swamp is rigged with traps. Tell me about it. <laughs> so you know already. Yeah. Well, then you're all set. The traps in that area are set to go off when a rope stretched along the ground is disturbed. Keep a close eye on the ground and make sure you don't trip over a rope. I mean, far be it from me to call you an idiot who can't avoid even the simplest of traps, but you know... Look, man, I wasn't expecting it, okay? What's the matter? Nothing. Never mind. Now that I know to watch out for it, I'm sure I'll dodge one of them. Oh, we are hungry. I did not realize how hungry we were. Uh, What kind of food do you have? Anything good? We have coral snake. And before, this is like poisonous or something. Ah, there we go. Might as well just dispose of these. They're both rotten. I don't know how the cages work. And then, what do we have? We have a cut on our head and a leech. Don't we have something for the leeches? Treating colds, food poisoning, no. Must be under surgery. Bullets and arrows. Removing leeches, the cigar. Nice. Bye-bye. Uh, da -da -da -da. Disinfectant. And bandage. And this. And what else? Suture. There we go. Takes a lot of stuff to heal a simple cut, man. Oh, you got to go back to work? Bye, love. Thank you for coming and saying hello.
Okay, keep an eye on the ground. You don't want to go back to work? Don't. Just quit. Just quit your job. I'm sure it'll be fine. You don't have bills to pay or anything, right? Okay, well, this fence appears to be electrified. Is there a way for me to disable it? I wonder if we can crawl under it right here. Oh, just barely. Bye, love you too. I turn that off for a little bit. Save some battery. Jesus Christ. Okay. How did I make it this far without running into any mines, dude? <laughs> I just, okay, well. <laughs> Hopefully the checkpoint system continues to be pretty forgiving. Uh, all right. Um, not a huge fan of the way this mine detector works. With just the beeps and the boops. I liked it better in... What was it? One? Two? Maybe one and two? Whenever it was right there on the map? Make sound upon de detection of claymores on the ground. Equipped to use. Consumes battery power while used. Now can we like... We could collect the claymores? Or is this going to blow us up? Okay, we can collect them. And I'm assuming the mine detector makes them visible. Otherwise, they'd be invisible. There's the next one. I don't... There it is. Thank you. There's another one right up there, I see. God, these things are everywhere, aren't they? Do not see the next one. I don't know if we went past it. Maybe we just went past it. Got lucky. Wait, is this above the water where we were looking at before? I just... I see the tree that we can potentially climb up. Hmm. Maybe not. There's another Claymore right there. I'm going to collect as many of them as possible so that I don't accidentally run into one whenever I have to stand up at some point. <laughs> so hopefully this thing doesn't run out of battery. We still got two bars left. I think it'll be okay. Not even 100% sure where we're trying to go right now. We climb under the fence right here? Or crawl under the fence right here? We can't. Wait, what was up that tree? Ah, I'm sure it's fun. Probably wasn't anything that important. Okay, stand up and just listen for beeps and boops. Oh, we're... F next area? Okay. Now, our mind's still going to be a thing in the next area, though, because maybe... Here's that tree that we saw in the water. 
I'm assuming there's not going to be a mine up here. Oh, no! Bro, for real? I was trying. There's a rope. <laughs> I wanted to go across the rope. Son of a... All right, well... Back around we go. Don't have any other real option, I guess. Sucks we got the, I'm assuming, a broken bone. Next time, whenever we get back there, I'm going to see where that rope even looks like it goes. Like, is it even worth it to try and climb across it? We may have to go across it, or it may be completely pointless. I have no idea. Mine detector. Oh, we gotta crawl under first, duh. Get off the tree, snake. Okay, stand up. don't see it. Well, it stopped beeping, so... Oh! Never mind. It's beeping again, and it's beeping faster. Is it, like, right behind this tree? Oh, there it is. I see it now. God, these things are everywhere. Again. Oh, wait, I saw it. There it is. Now, am I hungry because of the injury or am I sick again? Oh, we got leech. Yeah, it's probably the leech. Okay. Cigar it. Um, we might as well fix it. How much are you healed? 7%. I mean, we have the health. We're fine. We don't... We can save it. Oh, you can, like, zoom in on it real close. Still need to eat, though, because... The only thing we have left. Calorie, mate. Full stamina, but we're now out of food. We need to be wary of that. What's in this tree? Oh, this will let us get to the other side. But... I want to know... What was... All down here in that area that we accidentally fell down again. And across that rope. I really want to know what's across that rope. Do not see this claymore, man. I'm blind AF. Is it this end? Yes. Okay, and then as far as I can remember, the rest of this was safe. Find the tree with the rope, and then for God's sakes, look down it. Oh, no! I hate everything. <laughs> I saw it, but it was too late. It's fine. Forgiving checkpoints for the win. And of course, I stopped like right on top of it, too, like some sort of dumbass. Okay, so that rope takes us to there, which takes us to there, and there is some sort of item over there. Oh, there's stuff in the water there, too. 
Can we... Okay, we can walk into the water here. That's not too bad. Just uh, make sure we check for leeches. And then I'm assuming we can't get over those logs. Okay. Yeah, I think our sta yeah our stamina is definitely going down too quick. Okay, so as soon as we get out of the water, leech time. Thankfully, I don't think the cigar ever runs out. We just have an infinite cigar. And that's just the broken bone, and that's everything. Okay. So climb the tree. Now, before we even, like, go anywhere, how do we... Triangle? Triangle. Okay. Go, 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 go. And then I'm assuming we're going to have to like drop down because it doesn't look like we can grab this tree. Can we? No. But maybe if we just drop down here? How do we... How do we grab it, though? Ow. Honestly, you know what, Crocodile? Do you want to kill me? Please and thank you. Because I would rather just reload. I know you get, like, a better score or whatever if you, uh... Beat the game without dying and all that stuff, but I don't really care about that. There we go. GG. Continue. So we need to climb across the rope, drop down, and somehow grab the next rope. Hmm. How? <laughs> Maybe we just have to be lined up better. Like, we went all the way to the end of the rope. Maybe going all the way to the end just wasn't the right answer. Also, I think we got away without, well, I'm going to say without leeches that time, but, oh, we did. Cool. Okay. And so we don't have to go in the water again. I'm just going to make the game recheck point us. Just load into the next area and then back. The thing that's over there on that ledge is probably going to end up being something useless too, man. Like, just some more ammo or something. I feel it. It's going to be something ridiculous like that. I'm hoping for, I don't know, maybe maybe the sniper rifle again. That would be pretty cool. Okay. Climb up. And then drop down. How do we pull ourselves back up? Triangle. Okay. Now while we're down here, that does a pull up. That shimmies us right and left without using the stick. Hmm. Alright. Just go for it. know what the best way to line ourselves up here is oh wait we have okay hold on can see our reflection a little bit in the water it looks like i'm right on top of the other rope aha <laughs> nice okay now hopefully this crocodile can't like <laughs> jump out of the water and get us or something that would be a bad time Okay. Can we just hop down here? I think so. What are you? A croc cap. We did all of that for a hat. 
<laughs> what? What's this hat look like, man? I'm assuming camouflage. No. Uniform? No. Okay. What? Backpack? Crocodile cap. Does that make us, like, immune to crocodiles for a short period of time? Or while we're wearing it or something? Quick to wear. <laughs> Is this... Does this count as some sort of camouflage? Maybe in the water? I I don't I ran into it. I didn't set the trap off again. I just ran into it because I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, I was too I was too busy looking at the crop cap. Croc cap, man. We looked so wonderful in it. I couldn't help it. We could fix ourselves, but we're not that bad. Until we run into people, we're fine. Okay, we do want to get the mine detector back out, though. And then, I think we're just heading to that big tree. We, we good. We good. And before we fall on top of the electric fence. We like jump off the end. That was a lot closer than I liked. Okay, are there people here? Y you're a dog. <laughs> what is a dog doing here? Are you like a guard dog? You're not doing a very good job. Oh shit, there's people here. I don't see him. Presumably he can't see us. Sorry about this, pooch. Oh, what? And he doesn't provide meat? I'm not advocating for the for the eating of dogs or anything, but like in a survival situation, man. That's valuable food right there. I got leeches again. So, okay. Uh I forgot to check that after we got out of the water. And since the dog didn't give us food, I'm very hungry. Where's the cigar? Damn, dude. That honestly really sucks. Oh, God. Hi. I don't suppose you want to drop, like, food, do you? We all know what time it is, dude. Stab him in the dick. Or, well, leg, I guess. Whatever. Turn around. Go back at it. Come on. Come on. There you go. Good job. Now, please drop some rations. That's not rations, dude. That's... <laughs> hmm... Those are just bullets. I got plenty of those. I know I'm hungry. There's nothing I can do about it right now. Okay, so that's that way. Is there anything up this way? I'm assuming we don't need the mine detector. I'm hoping we don't need the mine detector anymore. Now, the th well, the dogs appear on the motion detector. The people do. But we might need the, what was like, AP sensor or whatever the hell it was called. Or the sonar. I forget which one was for animals. We might technically need one of those. Oh, 
our stomach's growling so loud. Legit, how can people not hear that? Is there a broken section in this fence? That's broken the middle. It might be possible to, like, dive through it, but... As tempted as I am to try, I think I'm going to pass on that. There's also a dude over there. I don't think he can see that far, though. Well, I mean, maybe we could make it through. Just how electrified is this fence? Is it, like, instant death electrified? Or just, like, you get a little burn electrified? Ooh, is that fruit? No. It's just weird color on the tree. Can't tell if it's starting to storm. Yeah, it's starting to storm. Well, <laughs> I'm hoping we can make it to the end of the scheduled time here. We'll see how hard the storm starts going, though. Is there any food in the trees? I don't see any. That looks like the mud, the bottomless pit of mud. Chill, stomach. I'll feed you as soon as I can. Nothing. No food. No people. Just nothing, man. There's a person. Is anybody going to miss you if I shoot you? Can't shoot you with a knife, though. Damn, I can't see you when I'm up. Okay. Need to go over a little bit. So we can stabilize our shot. Now you're behind a tree. Damn it. Okay. What about from like right here? If I sit up? If I stand up? Oh, if I stand up though, I can't. Okay, that's, I think... Why are we so shaky? Probably because we have no stamina left. Surprisingly, we got him. Also, there's a rope right there. Not going to run through that. Any food in the trees? Uh, I'm assuming that's part of the trap. Okay. Ooh. Can I climb? That was nobody. There's nobody here. Wish we were facing the other direction. Who's that? Damn you! Radio, call HQ. No, don't call HQ, you bastard. Okay, he's down. Get up. Unequip the gun. Do you have a ration on you by any chance? No. So there's a couple people over there. It's good to know for the future. And I'm assuming they will have a hard time coming through the mud. Maybe. Hopefully. While we're waiting for this evasion counter thing to click down here. I think it's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check to see how bad this storm looks just to, you know, get a feel for it real quick. And then I also need to refill my, my water cup here. So I'm going to do that real quick too. And then we'll be right back. <laughs>
All right. It's pretty windy and rainy out there, but other than that, it's not looking too bad. They're still looking for us. I was a little too quick, I guess. Oh, well. Oh, they just now find the guy that I knocked out over there? Oh, what? That renewed the caution? Bro. <laughs> I didn't know that was going to happen. That's annoying. Oh, and he's actually coming this way now, too. I mean, I have 90% cover here in the grass where I'm at. I think it'll probably be okay. But I was hoping to, you know, not have to... To not have to stay here for too long, though. Fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, see, they don't see me here. Nobody here, my guys. Okay, gently let up. Very gently. Okay. While they're looking, man. Let's go back to our AI facts about Metal Gear Solid 3. Uh... It's been referenced in several other video games, including Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain, and Super Smash Bros. Brawl. The game's title, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, is a reference to the fact that Snake must eat snakes in order to survive in the game's jungle setting. That's how they got the name, apparently. The game's main antagonist, the boss, is considered to be one of the most iconic villains in video game history. Um, the game has been praised for its realistic portrayal of the Cold War. Interesting. I had no idea this is what the Cold War was really like. <laughs> I, the, the history textbooks never never taught me about the nuke blowing up a uh, random research facility in Russia and um, the, the Metal Gear that they were working on building. That was all new news to me. All right, they're going back now. Give them a moment to get gone. Okay, it should be safe to get up now. Need to just keep an eye on it. Assuming they're back in their original positions, we should be... Safe to run up to about here. And then that one dude... I think we were fine taking him out, because I think they saw me. Which means there's probably one that, like, patrols that gate there or something. Zar, yeah, it's recharged. Because there's that guy right there, which actually we can see him already. Good miss. Okay, he's out. Now the question is, where's the other one, though? He saw us right here. So he must be like... Oh, there he is. Oh, there's one of them on both sides of the gate. How did you not see your buddy go down? Okay, now as far as I know, there is only two of them. I would still like to somehow go up there. Hmm. 
I'm assuming we got to like take this ridge slowly all the way over. How do we? Nope. How do we like get up against the wall and? There we go. Okay. Now just slowly, gently. And before it's another like crocodile hat or something. <laughs> I mean, for all I know, that could actually end up being an extremely useful item, but it sounds and looks a little a little weird, man. <laughs> like I don't I don't know how helpful that's really gonna be. Splitter uniform, so that's a new camouflage, right? Effective in urban environments. Well, we're not exactly in an urban environment right now. Okay, are you two the only ones around? Am I safe to just, like... I don't know if it's really worth hiding the bodies in this game or not, but I guess I will. Is there, like, tall grass somewhere? There it is. Drop you right about here. And I don't suppose you were carrying any food on you, were you? WPG? That doesn't sound like food. WP grenade. Does it give us info? Viewer. Incendiary grenade. Ah, white phosphorus. That's where the WP comes from. Hmm. Potentially useful at some point, I guess, but not really what I was hoping for, I admit. Uh, can we pick you up without us touching that fence? <laughs> Where's the closest grass right here? Oh, shit! I saw it, man. I was trying to let him go, or like move away from it, rather. But when I pushed the other direction, we just backed up into it. I didn't even see what we picked up when he dropped. Is anybody actually going to come check on them? or? Okay, I, I don't think it was food, but no. What? Hmm. I don't really understand the cages. I'm assuming we can, like, set traps to catch animals, but... Is there nobody coming? I don't think there's anybody coming. I think we're fine. I'm going to crawl, though, just in case. Keep our visibility low. And keep an eye on the motion detector. God, are we hungry? Somebody just said what the? So they either found a body or. Oh shit. Oh. Okay, that must have been everyone in the area. I'm assuming, by how fast that counted down. Okay, please just drop rations, man. I couldn't care about anything else you have. Don't want bullets. I want rations. I'm hungry. I'm a hungry boy. Another silencer, suppressor, whatever. Come on, food. Surely one of you have food. Is there any food in the trees? There's an herb on the ground over there. I don't even see, like, mushrooms, snakes, no animals.
Maybe we'll have better luck in the next area as far as food goes. There be people here. Let's go back to the other area. <laughs> Did they wake up or are they still asleep? Hopefully they're still asleep. I want to explore it a little bit more just to see if there's anything we're missing food-wise. Okay, it looks like they're still knocked. That one's still knocked out. The other two aren't. I wonder if I had killed them if they would all still be gone, but it's too late to figure that out now. Yeah, I don't think I need the motion detector. I'm going to let it recharge a bit. Keeping our eye out for snakes, rabbits, food in the trees, literally anything that could be helpful. Fast base. Oh, is this the... She said something about, like, it'd probably be easiest to enter from the rear. That... Is there a person sleeping over there? I oh, know that was that <laughs> that was the uh, the the electric fence lighting up. Okay, that makes sense. Can I like take you out too, real quick? Oh God, we're so hungry. Oh God. Nice. Okay. Now, hopefully, I can stand up without instantly getting spotted. Do we have better camo of any kind? Apparently, being naked is <laughs> is better than what we currently got on. Uh, Tiger Stripe looks like the best one. Yeah. I just want to pick this guy up. Drag him. I mean, I don't really care where. Just want to see if he drops any food. Those are bullets. Those are bullets. I don't want your bullets. I want your food. You're useless to me. Um. Motion detector back on. Is that a dude? Can't tell if that's the back of a dude over there. It might be. Walk gently. It is. Please drop food. Those look like bullets. Those are also bullets. The game hates us. Me. Hmm. I was hoping we could, like, go in through the window. I mean, there's a door right here, though. Can I just sneak in through the door? So I'm assuming that door leads to the same room, right? And it looked empty enough. Why 
are there so many suppressors? This looks like a hospital room or something, man. Why? Oh. What was that noise? No noise here. Unless you're talking about my stomach. Huh? What was that noise? Can they hear my stomach? They might be able to. Um, olive splitter. No, olive's better than splitter. We're fine. He might not have seen us, actually. Because he was, like, looking right at us, but... Uh, please, just food. I'm regretting getting rid of the rotten food now, like... Does the scientist uniform work here? No. Negative 55. Literally don't know what the point of this place was. What happens when we run out of stamina, man? <laughs> Are we just completely screwed? Good. You've reached the relay station, but stay alert. That station is an enemy strong point. The security is bound to be tight. But there's no other way to get to the crevice if I don't make it through. Exactly. The crevice leading to the cave is in the north of that area. Find mm, a way to okay. pass the enemy and head north. Why do you not have food at this strong point or whatever the hell you called it? The crevice leading to the cave is to the north of that base. Keep heading north. Okay, so you're both useless. Thank you. Appreciate the help. Uh, there's nothing here besides the frog. I did not mean to, like, slam that door open. I was gonna say, I know there's a guard up here. Oh my god, we are shaky AF. Is it better if I lay down? Maybe a tiny bit, but just... Nice. This looks like a storehouse. What is that? That doesn't look like food. Nope, that's a stun grenade. Hmm. Okay, get up. Yes, ration. A mouse trap? Let's uh how do we how do we set mouse trap? So we can eat a mouse. I mean, or I could probably just lay down and kill the mouse. Knife. Let's go, dude! <laughs> Two for one special. Let's go. We were literally starving. Uh the food, please. Russian ration, calorie made a couple wraps. Well, we know the rats go bad, so I'm going to eat them first. And then... 
The calorie mate, I'm assuming, is like a full heal. Russian rations we didn't like, but it should give us some stamina. There we go. So we're not full, but we are far from starving now. Thank freaking Christ. Okay. Anything else in this room for us to take? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, we took out that guard that was up here, but there could still be people around here somewhere. Our battery's going to die soon, too. Okay, it looks like there might be people inside that building. We can probably just skip it, though, and just move forward. Is there, like, a window or anything you're going to see me out of? No? Oh, put that away. Pick him up again. Oh, nice, dude. Uh, I am very curious what's in there, though. Even if there are people in here, don't run. That makes too much noise. Is there, like, a window or something? There was nobody. There's nobody here. I'm just leaving. I don't need to see what's in that room that bad. <laughs> I think one of the people we knocked out woke up. Look who it is. Hello, hello, Ocelot. Last. Looks like the boss's info was right. Twice now you've made me taste bitter defeat. With the freaking cat call, man. Point the cobras, but you're mine now. All of you, leave us. It's just you and me, no one to get in our way. Ocelots are proud creatures, they prefer to hunt alone. Lots of fancy showmanship. Twelve shots. You probably could have just shot me by now, though. I'm just throwing that out there. This time I've got twelve shots. So do we just have to survive the twelve shots, or do we need to... Well, we can't kill him. We know that much. We've tried that already. <laughs> but maybe the trank would work. Uh, okay. If I don't need to wear the suppressor out right now. Ow. I mean, okay, you hit us, but you didn't. Also, that's the wrong gun, isn't it? No, okay, that tranquilizer gun is just very loud. Oh, god damn, there's a snake. Hi, snake. Uh. I don't know if making him run out of ammo actually does anything for us. Is he going to refill his ammo? What? Stay out of this. Okay, I'm 
I'm not allowed to crawl up. Take a shot. Is it like no matter what we do, will he just not die? Like, can I throw the white phosphorus grenades that we just picked up at him? It's like we shot him in the head and all that happened was he lost his hat. You're out of ammo though. Is he reloading? He is. Hmm. So the answer isn't just outlive him. Where's he at? I can just... See, he's not... He... He's losing stamina, though. Oh, because we're not actually shooting him dealing damage, of course. Now, I wonder, like... Will stun grenade actually work on him? Where's he hiding at? So when he runs out of ammo, that's probably when I need to go up in the tree and take a shot or two. Because like right now we have no visibility on him. Eat some food before we die. Uh, coral snake. Eat. He's going to be coming out any second now. There he is. Damn it. Ah, okay. Got him. We had a chance. We missed. Come on back over. Got run, run. Damn, dude. It's fast. I think I shot him in the foot, but whatever. You know what? It works. Where am I aiming? I don't know if I hit him then or not. Okay, we can't seem to shoot him multiple times in a row. It's good to know. Where's he at? There he is. Hello. Nice. Damn it. Missed. Amazing. Where's he at? I never knew reloading could be so thrilling in the middle of a battle. There he is. What? How did that not hit him, dude? Yes, you can. Ow. You mind telling your men to back the hell off? Because they kind of hurt. You know what? I don't know if being up here is actually doing anything for us right now. He's so freaking close, man. Yes, it's the heart of a duel.
Look at us all bloodied up, dude. We're so... F well, we didn't technically win the duel there, but <laughs> I think we won the fight. I think. Not by much, granted. Oh. Damn it. Found us. Oh, it's the bee dude. Please tell me we don't have to fight him now, too. I'm in no condition to be fighting another dude. Okay, that's a little badass, man. Twirling the guns around to create like a little shield in front of him. Killing all the bees. is how aren't we dead right now man this guy must not want us to die because otherwise i don't see how we're surviving that like all the other dudes died instantly from a million stings okay now we're in a cave uh let's go into the cure menu i'm sure we have a couple injuries Gunshot wound to the head, and a cut, and the broken bone. Um, let's go ahead and, f I guess, fix both of these. So what's this one to cut? So we want disinfectant, the styptic or whatever, and bandage. And gunshot wound. We want... I'm assuming the gunshot itself isn't still in there. Um, the bullet itself. And bandage? Suture. What? Maybe the bullet is in there. Ah, I guess it was. Ow, dude. <laughs> in our face, too. That sucks. Uh, maybe thermal goggles? Um, knife? Uniform animals? Does that make us look like an animal? Fur pattern camo uniform. Negative 20. <laughs> Very nice, dude. And then black or zombie. Yeah, we'll do zombie because why not? If it doesn't matter anyways. Are you a crab? You are crabs. So, the thing is, I can see where all of the animals are in here using this and presumably the boxes, but what I can't see is anything else. So I'm just going to follow this wall around. Ooh, okay. Oh. Okay, we made uh, some progress. Keep following the wall, more or less. I think we're against one right now. This is way too freaking dark, man. <laughs> Do we have, like, a torch? Oh, wait. I think there's a hole. Uh, turn around, snake, please. Please turn around. Thank you. 
Maybe... Mm, I don't know if that really helped at all. But you're a big crab. Or you're not a crab. What are you? You a frog? Let's go, dude. We'll eat a frog. Uh, okay, looks like we're still in a hole. We went from, like, starving to death to now literally more food than we know what to do with. I mean, presumably frogs and crabs aren't going to be the most filling thing in the world, but still, that's a snake. I just don't want to get bit by it. Okay. I thought that was a snake, but no, it looks like running water. Can we stand up now? Something here. Hello? What is it? Oh god. I am so... Serum, okay. Can I pick it up? Thank you. Uh, Trying not to fall down the waterfall. Do we have to? We might have to. Do it gently. Hey, a torch! Thank God, dude. Also, is that a dead body and a bunch of crabs? And some kind of mushroom? Nice. Okay. Um, let's get that torch out. That should help a ton, honestly. I'm assuming it's an item? Bug juice, crocodile cap. Mm, no, must count as a weapon. Da, da, da. All kinds of food, mousetrap claymores, magazines, grenades, torch. Stand up, okay, we're standing. Torch. Thank goodness the torch doesn't seem to have, like, a limited lifespan or anything. Okay, there's two different directions we can go. Should check out this one first. Our broken, broken bone must have healed. I, I think that's the path we just came up, right? Yeah, and this is back to the beginning of the crevice. So what's this direction go to? Ooh, okay. So a swimming area. But... If we go back to where the waterfalls were real quick, there was that other direction we could go. That should be over here. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What is through door number two? Uh, more weird mushrooms. And a crawling space. And some rats, it looks like. And also the inability to turn around, snake. <laughs> Just turn around. <laughs> okay. We got rats. Out the ass. I mean, maybe that's a good sign, because wouldn't they be relatively close to the surface so they could scavenge for food? Uh, ow. Ow. Can I not <laughs> kill the stupid bats? All right, hold on. Just crawl through the hole. I don't think going down is the correct answer, but those bats were relentless. Maybe they just didn't like the light? Okay, 
hear something. Another room of some kind. Is this just a drop? Electronically amplifies weak dim light for visualization. Night vision goggles. Cool. Okay. So presumably we don't need the torch if we have the night vision goggles on. Night vision goggles. In fact, that might end up like hurting our eyeballs. Now, what's down? There's a ration down there. Is it possible to like gently go down? No. Uh, how do we swim? Okay. Just point the direction we want to go and hold X. Man, it really would have sucked if we would have fell down here before. Oh, we gotta, like, keep hitting X. Uh, if we had fallen down here before we got the night vision goggle. Something tells me the torch isn't gonna work so well underwater. Some fish. Okay. I really hope we're going at least vaguely the right direction. There's more stuff. Oh, battery. And an AK-47. Very cool. Uh, can we climb up here? Doesn't seem like it. That is a ledge, though, right? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Darn. It seems like, other than the stuff we got, a dead end. That's just a wall. Okay, go back up. Get our breath. Hard to see underwater. Um, so we came out of that hole, but it looks like there might be another thing over here. Is this the other path that we found earlier? Did we go in a giant circle? Shit, dude, we did. Huh. Okay. Um. Well. If we go <laughs> back in here, there's nothing here, right? No. Just that body. No hidden path or anything that I can see. Nothing hidden behind the waterfall? Okay. Maybe in the room with the bats now that we don't have the torch? I mean, I guess there's... Down there. But I feel almost like that's where we just were swimming or something. I'm not sure about that. It just feels right. Uh, stand up. Medicine and... Just a wall? Just a wall. What's up, Nate? Welcome, man. Wait, where are we? Is this a different room than we've been in before? I thought we were going to the room that had the, the bats, but...
I am so lost, dude. Alright. Going back up. I see now why there's so much food in here. <laughs> We're definitely going to need it, my guy. Um, collect these mushrooms, I guess. Okay, stand up. Was this the room with the bats? I don't know. Have we been down here? I know the bats. Bro, I'm so lost right now. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going. Food. Let's eat some food, huh? Uh, Russian glow cap. We've never tried that before. Eat it up. See what it's like. That restored our battery. <laughs> How does us eating a Russian mushroom refill our batteries? Whatever. <laughs> Let's eat some crab. Oh, good stamina recovery. I like it. And that pretty much restored our stamina. Hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is this is back in the room with the water. Okay, well, what if... I guess from here we could work backwards, maybe. Or no, we can't because we jumped down that big hole. So that, As far as I'm aware, we can't climb back out of that anyway. And that's what was on the other side of there. So the only way for us to go is this way. Which takes us back into the room that we got here from. Is there something like... Maybe at the bottom of the water that I'm missing? I, it's definitely not any easier to see without night vision goggles. Okay, that's the way we came. Wait, what's this? Oh, nope. Thought maybe that was a hole. It's not a hole. This area is much brighter than the first area we were in, though. I guess we don't really need the night vision goggles right now. Collect more glow caps for battery recovery. Honestly, it's a lot quicker to just swim underwater. Smash! There's no, like, hidden passages down here. Doesn't look like it. It does just look a lot brighter in general now, doesn't it? Which is weird, because when we first got here, man, we couldn't see a damn thing. Okay, this way took us to the top of the... Whatchamacallit? The, uh... The waterfalls. Maybe there's something up there I missed. Oh, also, do we have leeches? I don't know if there's leeches in these underground caves, but our stamina looks like it went down a little quick. I guess not. Hmm. This is why we need Chocobo here when we play this game, man. <laughs> so he can give us very vague hints to help us go in the right direction. Also, I need to fix myself. Hold on. Sitting up straight. Well, you know, not really, but kind of. It's more like sitting cross-legged, but... It's close enough to straight, right? Get a drink, too. Okay. So in here we have the waterfalls. Maybe there's something else here we missed? Aha, there is. This is new. Okay, bullets that we can't use. Bug juice. And a loading zone. Thank God.
Well, at the very least, I think we got all of the stuff that was in that area. <laughs> like, I don't think we really missed anything in that one, man. God, and it continues. I imagine going up is the right direction. But what's over here? Anything? A shotgun. Let's go. Okay. Are you ammo for it? Also some kind of snake right there. I'm going to ignore you for a moment. I thought I had seen something else on the ground, but I guess not. Crawl through the hole in the dark cave. I'm sure that won't go wrong. That looks like an exit almost. What's that? Snow uniform. Are we going that high in the mountains that we need to worry about snow? I mean, I guess like in the other games, you really did have a, a wide variety of places. So it wouldn't be that surprising. Fairly tasty. Pretty tasty. Let's eat a raw frog. How does that go? Good stamina recovery. Nice, man. Turns out most small creatures pretty tasty. Die crab. Get wrecked. Was that? I'm assuming that's me like hitting something in the game, but it sounds like wood. Like walking on or against wood. Smoke grenade. AK-47 bullets. I see bats, crabs, snakes. It's just like back to the beginning. I think we just went the long way around. Yeah, we did. So that's the way we went, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Well. I mean, we found a shotgun for our troubles. I'd say that's worth it. And there is freedom, dude. Let's go. God damn it, dude. <laughs> this guy never gives up. What are you gonna do? Just stay underwater forever? Like, those bees don't have to give up if they don't want to, man. I caught you at last. We are the sons of the boss. I am the pain. world of anguish beyond your imagination. Let's get started. Uh, bug juice, maybe? Maybe, maybe this is what all the bug juice is for? Legitimately, like, I don't know. Backpack? Is it under, it's not under weapon, right? Okay, no, I didn't think so, but. Bug juice. How do we view it? Is it triangle, circle, X? I wanna, I, is it R1? What's the view button? R2. Bug repellent keeps away hornets and leeches. Let's give it a try, dude. Does the game pause? It does. I don't know how well that's going to work, but it's, it's you know, got to try something. Uh, where's our tranquilizer? What was that? Tommy, 
Wait, what? <laughs> the bees just made a gun? Okay, so I'm, uh, oh god. So I'm guessing whenever the bugs like swarm us, we gotta jump down. You have a high tranquilizer tolerance, don't you, my guy? Okay, the grenades do still blow up underwater. And that stuff is like some sort of attractant for the bees. Can we do close quarters combat with him? Where am I? Don't worry about it, dude. I'm hiding from you. Nope, he found us already. Swim, swim away, swim away. <laughs> no grenades, swim away. Seriously, dude, get underwater and <laughs> go. You see me? Get up, please. You do see me. I did not mean to jump back down. Quickly. Come on, get a shot out on him, man. Okay, well. We hit him. Not for much, but we hit him. He hit us a lot more. Dodged all the crap, so are we fine. Or are they gonna swarm us? Was oh, that like armor? Go no, down, get all down. do about the, the armor? Maybe like a smoke grenade? Bugs don't like smoke. Wash off the stench. Probably be so much easier with a real gun. Uh, smoke grenade again? I don't know if the smoke grenade actually did anything last time or if it was just like happen stance. Oh, did they catch the grenade and bring it back over here? That's pretty cool. There's got to be some sort of technique here. For that whole, like, bug shield that he has going on, man. Maybe the answer is just regular violence instead of tranquilizers? Like, will the gun penetrate his shield? I mean, I guess it's worth trying. 
Uh, we just had to aim for like an exposed portion of his body. No, it seems like the armor's perfect. Okay. The smoke grenade is working. And we can shoot him multiple times in a row. Normally, you can't shoot them multiple times in a row. Well, okay, it stopped working. Now, what happens if we run out of smoke grenades, though? Damn it. Also, it doesn't work so well, I guess, whenever we uh, don't have the smoke grenade actually land on the platform. Did not mean to waste that extra ammo. Damn it, I think I threw it too far that time. Now, hold on. So, now that those things are coming at me, will the bug juice keep them away for a little bit? It's just a smoke, smoke grenade. I don't like this guy. What about the stun grenade? Will that work? Ow. <laughs> that kind of hurt, man. There's 100% a strategy that I'm not catching on to here. Let's eat more food. It's going to go bad sooner or later if we don't anyways. I'm assuming the stuff at the top is the oldest, so eat it first. I could go for seconds. Apparently, we really like that one. So far, the only thing that seems to really work is the smoke grenades. Like, what do we do when we run out of them? Did he... I didn't realize he threw a grenade at me. We got him almost halfway, and we still have health. And plenty of regular ammo. The only thing I'm really worried about is losing the grenades. Because we don't have very many of those left. Okay, he also just threw a grenade at us. God, by the time I get up, his shield's going to regen. Stop with the grenades, dude. Damn, I jumped down so prematurely. Get up. Come on, please. You bastard. Uh, smoke grenade. That didn't hit. 
Must have threw it too high. Hey. Is that enough? Did that work? We only had to get him halfway? <laughs> I hope so, dude, because... <laughs> We're running low on, on grenades here. It's like he's been stung once or twice, man. Uh, what? Excuse me? <laughs> oh god, this is just phase two, ain't it? Uh, I'm assuming these ones are much more painful than the other ones. What's this? Oh, regular grenades, huh? Maybe that'll get rid of a shield too. Just any kind of grenade? I've been iffy about using the regular grenades because I don't want to deal damage to them. Oh, it's going to catch that, ain't it? Honestly, don't care if I can just shoot him. Yeah, I want to get on the back side so we have nice, easy access to hitting him. Uh, shoot him in the dick. Jump. Just keep circling around, I guess, man. I don't. <laughs> this, is, this is all I can do. He's like two thirds of the way there. We got this, dude. We got this. All right, and up. Do we need a grenade? We do. That's too high. Nope, nope, never mind. It wasn't. That was like perfect. Blow up. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ow. <laughs> I'm assuming that also poisoned me a little bit. Uh, are we normally able to aim our gun underwater? Bullet bee. Suffering from a bullet bee wound. Bullet bee eating away at inside a body? Excuse me? Uh, Okay, well, I'm assuming I pulled it out. And then... Disinfect. And then... Uh, bandage? Is it possible to get rid of this thing? Okay. We got it. The other two are just burns. Oh, okay. We Gucci. Uh, get back up. Uh, actually, I kind of don't want to get up now if he's going to be Tommy gunning us. You can do it. Thanks, man. You too. I can't see him. Don't care. Just shoot. Oh, you bastard. Get him. Get him. Let's go. Stop flipping around, you bastard. Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. Grenade again. I think that one went too far. Yeah, it did. That one didn't go far enough. Is that one good? Oh, man, I don't even care about the bullet bee right now. Just... Oh, you bastard. Okay, is there another bullet bee inside me? Because I'm assuming that's going to do major damage over time. Yes. So surgery, we need it to cut it out of us. Um, I'm assuming it works like a gunshot. Disinfect. Okay. 
He's so freaking close, dude. Come on. Up, up, up. You're a bastard. Shoot him. Don't care where. Just get the bullets in his body. Come on. One more. One more. Let's go. Hell yeah, dude. Get tranked. Are the bees going to turn on him? Holy crap. Apparently he was full of bombs. <laughs> and I'm guessing that's the direction we need to go. We're not going to though, because it is pretty much time for us to end it. And I don't know how long the next cutscene is going to be, which surely is coming up soon. So we're going to eat some food. Uh, maybe a Kenyan mangrove crab. Sounds delicious. Fill us right up and let's get a save in, dude. Maybe we can get some more cool movie trivia. Do you want to save? Yes, yes, I do. My lady. I would love to save. Please and thank you. Wonder what she's going to talk about this time. So far, we've gotten. What, Godzilla, the Black Lagoon, some outer space thing. It came from outer space, I think it was. I don't know enough old movies to even really guess what the next one could be. Snake, have you seen 007? Ah, 007, okay. Nah, I don't like those movies. Real spies are nothing like James Bond. It's pure fantasy. Snake, I don't think the Major's going to like you saying that. And even though it's fiction... I can't help but comparing myself to Bond. What exactly don't you like about James Bond? I mean, is it the fantastic gadgets, the cars, the guns? Major. Snake, wouldn't you like to have a gun shaped like a pen? What good is a pen gonna do me in the jungle? I'd look like a fool. Then what about a snake-shaped gun? You could make it look like you're grappling with a giant snake and then get a shot in on the enemy while they're distracted. <laughs> okay, now you're That's legit. Ridiculous. We'll make you a snake-shaped gun that folds up and fits into an attaché case. Will you give it a rest? Oh, I get it. You're worried about how to handle the ladies, aren't you? No. I knew it. Hm, to tell you the truth, I don't like the idea of playing hanky-panky with enemy femme fatales either. But that's part of Bond's appeal. You could learn a thing or two from him. I mean, what about this Eva? What are you planning to do with her? I, I don't even trust her yet. No, that's not what I mean. You, you can't let yourself get involved. This is a game of spy versus spy. She's using you just as much as you're using her. I realize that. You've got to grab the initiative. And to do that, you have to get the upper hand in the relationships. That's what a spy is supposed to do. Get the upper hand. I don't think I'm cut out for that mission. Maybe if you change your code name to 00 Snake. Major. 007 is the biggest thing to come out of England since the Mayflower. I wouldn't be surprised if they made 20 more of those movies. Didn't you know? Major is a huge James Bond. I see that. Don't get him worked up like this. Worked up? Maybe you don't realize this, but now that you've got him started talking about Bond, I'm going to have to listen to him lecture for a whole hour after he gets off the radio. You're kind of the one that started it, girl. It's too bad you can't enjoy such a great movie, though. I guess I'm just one of those people who can't enjoy spy flicks. You're the one that had to go and bring up 007. If it weren't for you, he wouldn't have got started to begin with. All right, maybe I egged him on a little bit with my dislike of it, but you can't blame me for that. That's on you.
Anyways, guys, that is all the time we have for tonight. We'll be playing more of this next week. I don't know exactly how long the game is or anything like that, but I'm assuming at least a couple more streams of it. Uh, and today is, what, Wednesday? So tomorrow night we'll be back with some more random PS2 stuff. Before we go, do we have any more random AI facts about Metal Gear Solid 3? Not really interesting ones. Uh, the game's story is considered to be one of the best in the Metal Gear franchise, apparently. Um... That's pretty much it. I'm sure there's more if I t asked it to tell me some more or something like that. But honestly, I was hoping for something a little bit more interesting from it. Or just something completely off the wall ridiculous, you know? That's either or. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, but oh well. Oh well. What are you going to do? Anyways, guys, I hope to see anyone who can make it back tomorrow night for the PS2 gauntlet there. But in the meantime, have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all. But yet.